morning, YouTubers. Okay, I was gonna come outside and work today, but it is cold and rainy, so we won't be doing that. I got a lot done yesterday, um, but I was gonna work on my fruit lane and do some other stuff in the yard today, but that won't happen, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you what I did yesterday before I cut the grass. This lawnmower uh, drive belt fell off and I couldn't find a picture of it anywhere on the internet. So I had to figure out how to put this drive belt on myself. So this is what I did. I went underneath and I propped the whole lawnmower up. The dry belt, see, is right there, right here. And that's a pulley right there. And it's got another pulley on the other side right there. And then it has two pulleys back here that's very difficult to see. Let me see if I can find them. They're right above this release valve here. It's right above here, underneath there. There's one over here, and there's one on this side, right above this relief valve. These valves pull out so you can move them more. Okay, but there's a pulley up there on each side. Now, the pulley on the left side over here, on that side, has a spring, is spring loaded. So you need to get a pair of pliers. And if you look under here, get you a pair of pliers right there, okay? Right there is the spring. And if you go in the back of that and release that spring, see? Then that pulley right there will move. This is a Ferris 400S. That spring right there for that pulley, it releases that pulley so it'll move. It'll move back and forth. This is on the left side of your, of your mower. This is a, a, a Ferris 400 zero turn. Now, if you release that pulley, if you just need to put your belt back on or adjust it, you can. There's a pulley and there's a pulley over there. You've got two pulleys back here. Let's go back here again. Where these uh, um, releases are. There's one above that one and there's one above this one. Okay? If you, your belt fall off, because I couldn't find a diagram anywhere. Okay, guys. That I'm belt try to explain this the best is way in a U shape. The belt is in a U shape. This is a small belt. What I'm going to try to show you what it, what it looks like. It's in a U shape, guys. It is because it's in a U shape a like that. In the very back and the front the center. goes and around the front. Also now put your left side on last. Uh, put the right side on, then belt. bring it to the back, but your, and put your it back on the back, goes on the pulley, pulley over to your right, and the then go over, put it on the now there pulley is to your a left. Mechanism then that you have to adjust take that pulley after you've you taken the spring off that I just showed you, and but you need put to also, your belt on that one, only need and then put your put spring your back, back on. on. That's you if your belt fell off. Put and your you belt need to back put it around back on that or pulley. adjust it. Now, and if you need to replace the, the belt, so it'll go this pulley like back in here U in the back because the that one that's on above this, and I forget there, what that your, other, your, that your other your pulley is in the your 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 um not your pulley. Um, you've got another pulley. Back the one that holds the belt. Pulley. The the pulley and that holds the goes in your drive belt. 
and in front of it. your and blade it belt. You around the two back in There's the, a the pulley side. that holds your dry and belt and your blade belt around in the very center the of the center board. pulley that holds you your, will have your to take belt and your that belt. And particular pulley and make a U down a loose so that you can get a new belt the front get the old one off if it is if it's broken you can probably you just pull it out but to get the new one on you're gonna have to, to take that to arm off the, of that the, pulley the, the, uh, and put it back on once you get the, the pulley in there and, and around it back up i hope okay, that I makes hope that sense goes. to you and I um you can understand the rest of the video and if if you want to comment well, in the, well in the um, below me, and let me know um, if there's anything I can help you with, you like a lot of times they don't give you diagrams on these um, mores because they want you to call them and, and then they want to charge you and, um, three, five, six hundred dollars to, to fix them. The um, more up. But I put uh, this more up now. on four but let me know uh, jack stands. Hit the subscribe button on those and jack stands and and, and, and those two there. hydraulic pumps. Okay. Bye -bye. And I was able to get under there and see what was going on. So if I can give you some information, just hit me up. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe, like. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.